Okay, questions from the chat. We are needing to replace carpet in our house. I've heard there could be some toxic outgassing with new carpeting. Do you have any concerns or recommendations about new carpeting and how to impact someone with cancer? Well, there's definitely toxic outgassing with all new carpet. Um, carpet is obviously made with you know, as a chemical and many carpets are sprayed with fire retardants. Can't remember the name of the fire retardant, but that is a major neurotoxin in itself. Um, and so, yeah, it, you know, but you know, going the route of a natural wool based carpet um, to be extremely expensive and doesn't necessarily wear well. And it's not very stain resistant at all. My son put in a, in their nursery, he put in a um, wool based carpet that was expensive. And it just, it did not, it was horrible actually, um, as far as wear and, and stain resistance goes. It was just, it was just, just a, they just said it was just a big mistake. So, you know, what do you do? Maybe wait till the summertime where you can open up all the windows and turn the fans on and try to, you know, get that stuff out of your house. Um, I can't remember who it was, some, uh, some movie star years ago. I had a video of hers. Uh, her and her husband had a son and he ended up with a severe neurotoxic uh, disease diagnosis. They said he was um, mentally retarded at the time with some strange neurotoxic disease. They ended up detoxing him, going to actually a chiropractor out in California, did detoxing. The chiropractor did kinesiology on him and found out that it was a, he was, uh, he was toxic with the fire, uh, the fire retardant chemical, I believe, and some other chemicals did complete detoxing. They tore all the carpet out of their house. The sun got better. Um, and they wrote multiple articles about it and living, trying to have a clean house. So a perfectly clean house then would not include any carpeting and would all be hardwoods or tile. And um, that's just not real practical. I mean, they'll, we'll use throw rugs. Well, the throw rugs have chemicals in them too. I mean, it's it's just difficult to balance that out. We certainly don't do that. We have wall-to-wall -wall carpeting in areas of our house. We have some wood in areas of our house and obviously tile in the bathrooms. But yeah, it's, it's a difficult thing. I mean, uh, some people are going to have more issues with that. And it all depends upon different sensitivities. It depends on if they have damage to brain cells already and they have microglial priming, they're going to be more sensitive to those type of chemicals. If they have compromise to the liver detox pathways, they're going to have a difficulty getting that stuff out. They're going to be more susceptible, just like people are more susceptible to different toxins based upon, you know, the level of toxicity that they're dealing with right now. And certainly if they're dealing with, uh, with cancer or some other, you know, a more uh, comorbidity so yeah you just have to find a balance maybe it's like okay well we're just gonna do it in the summertime and you know try to open the windows and leave the fans blowing and try to just maybe maybe get the carpets cleaned even after we get them put in always when you get your carpets cleaned you should clean with just hot water alone never any soap or chemicals ever 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 when you get carpets cleaned um, there's services now that do that, um, or you do it yourself, rent a carpet cleaner or do it yourself just with hot as water as you can possibly get. Um, I used to have a patient years ago that had a carpet cleaning service and he just cleaned carpets with boiling water and, um, and she's got great results, never used anything, but the stuff that he pulled out of carpets, the cleaning solution that was left behind from other cleaners was amazing. So maybe try that. That's another, you know, possible solution to get some of that stuff out. A couple of years ago, I had a doctor friend of mine whose son, his 12-year-old son or something, was having major neurotoxic issues. I tested him. He tested positive for, for fire retardant chemicals. And I said, I don't know what this is. It's fire retardant chemicals. Do you have any idea where he's getting that? Um, 
this was years ago before I knew anything about really fire retardant chemicals. He, and he said, well, yeah, we just got a brand new couch. Um, and he's been sleeping on the couch. <laughs> so all he did is change where he's sleeping and all the symptoms went away. Plus he took some supplements to help detox it. So these things can be major issues. All new furniture you buy has that stuff in it. Uh, all baby clothes have that stuff in it. That's why my kids typically buy these natural, you know, uh, organic cotton baby clothes, even though they're more expensive. You don't want to put that garbage on your little baby. So, um, yeah, it's just a matter of trying to strike a balance.